What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, if you're new. I've been getting a good amount of comments, like two, asking what the what I've been using, or what I'm using in the repulsor project that I'm doing. So in this video, I'm going to be showing all the things, and there's a lot of links. The first part is a solenoid valve. This one's one half an inch, and this is it. Next is the thread tape. This stuff is used anytime you're connecting threaded things together. It makes things airtight and it just seals everything up. You wrap it around like the barb things over here. So the next is a four piece of these adapters. These basically are going to screw into the solenoid valve and then which leads into the next thing that you're going to need is five of these hose barb fittings, barb one four inch male NPT hose fitting. So I'm going to be using all five of these in total within the project. So these screw in to this, which screws into this, and they're going to be on each side. The next thing is a hose fitting connector barb female pipe and this thing is will screw into the propane adapter so this basically connects to these via tubing and you can use hose clamps to clamp everything down and those go to this and then this i did what episode i think episode three is the episode that i actually connected all this stuff together so next, I'm using these T things. In episode two, I used, um, let me get it. I don't know, you can't see it. I used a plastic version, but I couldn't find any plastic ones on Amazon. And this is just more convenient because I'm going to end up needing two. And it also comes with these hose clamps, which I'm also going to need, be needing more of, which is pretty nice. Next are um, 3 eighths of an inch um non-return one-way check valves i just used oh these are for water and i don't know i used ones that were for gas but i couldn't find the link I, I, you're only going to need one but this is basically what it is you can look up three eighth inch check valve for air or gas and then order one of those so i used for the one um gas collection system in part two i used um the threaded CO2 cartridge, cartridge as a part of the gas collection tank thing. So this is the link to them. If you find anything else that works, that's fine. I just used these because I had extra ones. Next are these uh, syringes. It's a, it comes in a four pack and it's 20 milliliters. I ended up using all four because I broke a lot of them because I'm really bad at like this. I don't know. Oh, wait. And these things connect to the CO2 cartridge. Um, what else? This. This is a... I, or I ordered this uh, cheap little solenoid valve. It, it, it takes... It takes incredibly long to ship anywhere. It took like a month or two, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna be, I you, uh, you're just gonna need a smaller one for, um, releasing the gas. So I chose this one, and hopefully it's gonna work. The next thing you're gonna need is an Arduino board. Now these things, this is basically what you're gonna be using to code everything and make everything work. So what I'm planning on doing with this is. Making it so when you press a button, it opens the the gas or the propane tank up, lets it it fills up the both gas chamber cylinders, and then after once those are full, it releases it with another solenoid valve, and then into the combustion chamber, which sparks it. So I'm gonna make a video coding this thing, which I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it because I'm really bad at coding everything. So a lot of my stuff, a lot of the parts are 3D printed, like the whole exoskeleton arm is 3D printed. It's so much easier to just design things online or on the computer. Because I'm really bad at 
making things out of metal, and, and it's pretty easy. Um, the next is Gorilla Tape. I'm gonna use this to connect the, or I already did. I'm gonna, I used it to connect the syringe and the CO2 cartridge together. I duct tape didn't work well, so I hope this works because it's supposed to be like water and air tight. And that, that's I made a I had a really bad design on the gas collection system, but and that's it. Keep in mind these are all the things that have been used up to episode four. I don't know if I said that right. I hope I did. So I wonder how much this all cost. I've been saving up and spent like six months on this project. I'm gonna see once I add up the cart. So with that, so with everything in the cart, this comes down to oh my god, hundred fifty three dollars, and that's not including all the other stuff we're gonna I'm gonna need for the ooh for the next part, and this it's also not including the three D printer. That, the three D printer is I don't know how much. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment.